Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day just like me. And today I am going to be showing you how to make a team selector in Roblox Studio. Actually, give me a second real quick. Sorry guys, just had to do something real quick. Alright, but yeah, um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a team selector. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So first thing, you want to make a screen GUI. Um, put in a frame and then uh, some buttons and everything. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have two buttons, uh, a text label for the title, and then of course a frame for the background. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start selecting each and every one and start showing you all my settings on this properties tab below. Um, what you will need for this video is actually um, go to model, uh, no not model, view. Go and then make sure that there's a box around Explorer, Properties, and Outputs, and View Selector, and only those. So, like, say, so I'm pretty sure there may be a black box around Command Bar, and there may be something like this. In order to take it out, go and click it, and in order to put, like, have a black box, obviously, click it. So, yeah. Um, go ahead and make sure about all that, and then you can also move all this stuff around um, to make it look like mine. So, yeah. Um, once you're finished with that, um, let me go and start uh, going through my other stuff. Um, right now, I'm just going to go through uh, my GUI. Then uh, from the top, here is my frame. You can go and change these if you want. All right. And then next, we got our blue button. Let me scroll all the way up. And then... Then next we got our red button. Uh, well, just so you know, if you copy all these properties exact, then your screen will look like this exact as well. Yep, so now we got our red button. Let's go ahead and copy those. If you need to pause the video, you can. Uh, next we got our title, which is that text label. And scroll all the way up. All right. There we go. All right. Uh, yep. Those are all the properties. If you need to pause the video, go back. You can go ahead and do that. All right. So um, yeah. Once you're finished uh, with all copying all these properties, it should look like this. Um, if not, you can also position it and everything. So yeah. Let me do Control Z. All right. So now, um, now let's go ahead and add in some error text in case that team um, to where say if say there's two people on red team, but there's only one on blue. Obviously, you don't want them to go to red team because then that would make the team unbalanced. So, um, we're going to put an air text so they can't unbalance the teams. So, um, just go ahead and copy the title label. Uh, just duplicate it and then just drag it down here. You can also shrink it a little bit. Um, yeah. And now I'm just uh Alright, there we go. Alright, uh now uh on the properties, let's go ahead and scroll down till uh we see name. We're gonna put the name as error. We're also gonna scroll down again. We're gonna put the text as um a blank actually, because we do not need it, the text. Then we get uh, next uh, the text color three. Just go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and click on the red color. Um, any red will do. So yeah. Um, all right. The now what we're gonna do is um, so uh, your teams folder may not be here. So in order to get it, um, go to model um, on this top bar right here. Click on these two gear icons. One is blue. One is red. Just go ahead and click it. And then um, there's going to be another option here that says Teams if the team folder isn't already in your Explorer thing. Go ahead and select it and then just click Insert. But I'm going to click Done because I don't want replicated script service. And then uh, once you uh, click Insert, it should insert this Teams folder. So yeah, now inside of these Teams folders, go ahead and add in two Teams. Um, duplicate, yeah. 
So one is going to be the red team, which we're going to set the color to bright red. The next is going to be the blue team, and then we're going to set the color to um, dark blue. Alright, so now inside um, of the red team, we're going to insert a number value, and then we're going to put the name of this number value, players. And then you can just duplicate that number value and then drag the other one into the blue team. So this is gonna. So this number is gonna be how many players are in that team. So yeah. Um, now let's go ahead and in replicated storage, go and insert a remote event, and then we're gonna name this remote event um, team selected, and then enter. Make sure that there are no spaces and no special characters for this. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for that. All right, so now um, we're gonna go ahead and start scripting the red and blue team buttons. So on the blue team one, we're gonna insert a local script. We're gonna type in script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function parentheses outside of those parentheses that we put after the function. Just do enter. All right, so now we are going to type in game dot replicated storage dot um I forgot what it was uh, right it was a uh, team selected and then colon fire server inside those parentheses right there um we are going to say uh, put a string value by putting quotation marks and we're gonna say blue. And then outside of those quotation marks, we're going to do comma script dot parent um, dot parent. All right. So then you can also just duplicate that local script and put it into the red button. But now we're going to uh, do the red edit the red button script, and we're just going to change that blue to red. So yep. Um, so now whenever we click these buttons, it's going to fire this remote event in replicated storage. So yeah, and it's also going to send um, like that it was the blue team, and um, uh, we're going to send like the like the instance value of the frame. The the there's gonna it's gonna be important. <laughs> so yeah, now in replicated um I mean no not replicate uh in server script service insert a script, do control A then backspace. <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say. Uh, we're going to make the variables for the red team and the blue team. So we can just uh, put in uh, red, and then we can do equals uh, game.teams.red. And then enter. Now we're going to do blue, and then we're going to do equals game.teams.blue. All right, perfect. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to say red. Um, make sure that it's the same. It is case sensitive. So, yeah. Um, red dot player added colon connect function parentheses. Let's say those parentheses do enter. Um, now, we're going to say red dot, oh, dot players dot value equals red dot players dot value space plus one so this is gonna um add one to the uh current amount of how many players are in of the number value inside of the red team yep so now you can also go ahead and copy this um just do control c and then uh do enter and then paste but instead of player added we're gonna do player removed and then we're going to change this plus one to minus one. All right. And then now we can really just uh, copy all of that. Do enter, enter, control V. And then um, now instead of red, we're, we're just going to say blue. Alright, now that we're done with that, just do enter, 
Enter, enter. Uh, I'm just doing that to make it look nice. You don't have to. <clears throat> now we're going to say game dot replicated storage dot um, team selected colon uh, not colon uh, dot on server event colon connect function parentheses inside the parentheses we're going to type in plr comma team comma um, gui in all caps for the GUI. All right, then now outside of those parentheses, we're going to do enter. Oh, no, nope, uh, not there. <laughs> so yeah, now um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and write an if statement to check if, um, to check if like the team is full or not, <laughs> or if it would make it unbalanced. So in order to do that, we're going to say if uh, red dot, oh, no, no, actually, no, we're going to make an if statement saying if, uh, team equals equals, and then in quotation marks, red, and then outside of the quotation marks, we're going to say then, um, if red dot players dot value um, greater than symbol, space, again, red dot players, no, I mean, no, not red, uh, blue, blue dot players dot value, then enter, now inside this, uh, if statement, um, now we are gonna make the error text, so in order to do that, we're just gonna say gui dot error, dot text equals uh, uh quotation marks joining the red team would make the te teams unbalanced and then quote exclamation mark all right and then Yep, now we're going to do enter, and then we're going to say, uh, GUI dot error dot visible equals true, enter weight, um, parentheses five, outside the parentheses, we're going to do enter, then GUI dot error dot visible equals false so this um this block of code right here um actually this block um is gonna say if the um the players like if all the players um is greater than the players on the blue team all the players on the red are greater than the blue team then it's gonna give us the error saying that joining the red team would make the teams unbalanced and then um it's gonna make the error text visible and then it's gonna wait five seconds, and then it's not gonna be visible. So yeah, now um, after the GUI the error dot visible equals false, do enter, and then we're gonna say else. So if the red dot players dot value equals um, blue dot players dot value. So if the players on the red team, the amount of players on the red team, um, are the same for the blue team, or if the amount of players on the blue team are greater than the red the players on the red team, then it'll, then it'll, uh, do anything in the else block. So now inside of that, we are going to say PLR dot team color with a capital C as well equals brick color, not color three, brick color dot, um, not, not blue, uh, dot I forgot what it was. I think it was dot new. Let me check. Yeah, yeah, it was dot new. And then uh parentheses, no, not parentheses, quotation marks. Um bright uh red right there. 
Yeah. So now after that, um, we're gonna do plr dot team equals uh red, and then now uh, after that we're gonna make the GUI not visible by saying GUI dot visible equals false. All right. So that was a lot, but yeah, just go ahead and copy this entire block of code right here. So just do control C and then um, do an enter after that block of code that you copied. Um, do to enter two times if you want and then do control V and then it's going to paste it. So now um, change anywhere where it says red in the block of code that you pasted to blue. Um, there's one right here. Um, there's one right here. And then we're going to have to change this blue to red. And then we're going to change this red to blue. Then um, we're going to change this to um, dark blue. I'm going to change this red to blue. <laughs> Am I missing any? Um, nope, doesn't look like it. All right, so yeah, there you go. Um, now, if we go ahead and we're going to go ahead and go to test, we're going to test it with uh, two players. So we're just going to click on start, and then it's going to open up our two players. This is going to be like the server, like um, so like you can see the players using this camera, but uh, you don't have to have that. You can have that minimized. All right, so um, I got one over here on this monitor as well. I'm going to go and make this the one on my second monitor. Oh, Oh yeah, um, go ahead and click uh, clean up. So um, I forgot to tell you, um, change the teams, um, like to where it says the auto assignable check mark. Make sure that that is not checked. So yeah, that I forgot about that. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> ah, yeah. Let me just minimize that server window, and then those other ones will start popping up. I got the one on my second monitor. What about the first? No, oh, okay, there. <laughs> Alright, so um, I'm going to make the one on my second monitor go on blue team. Now, if we try to join blue with this one, see, joining the blue team would make it unbalanced. And then, after five seconds, it would go away. Then once we click on red, it will let us join the red team. So yeah, guys, um, that is it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please leave a like. Um, and subscribe if you did um, and also in order just so you know in order to get all this up just click clean up and then it closes out all the extra windows so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video um, please leave a like and subscribe down below to support the channel if you want to and then um, we got uh, the discord server the among us discord server and my roblox group down in the description below and I will see you guys next video